a manufacturer uses a machine to make metal rods, the length of a metal rod, L centimeters, is normally distributed with a mean of eight, standard deviation of X, and we are given that the proportion of metal rods less than 7.902 centimeters is two and a half percent, and we need to show that X is 0 0.05 to two decimal places. So to work out the standard deviation, we have to use the Z formula. So the to go from the standard normal distribution. So Z equals X minus the mean over the standard deviation. We know that X in this case is 7.902. The mean is 8. And the standard deviation is X. What is our Z? So we can use the standard normal, which has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. So if we grab the calculator, go to our distribution, and use the inverse normal, we have the area is 2.5%, so it's a decimal 0 0.025. The standard deviation is 1, the mean is 0, just click, click through that, and Z is negative 1.96. Negative 1.96. Then we can just solve for X. So times both sides by X. 7.902 zero two take away eight is negative zero point zero nine eight and then divide by a negative one point nine six and we get exactly zero point zero five. That's part A. Part B, calculate the proportion of metal rods between 7.94 and 8.09. So we're just using our calculator for this. So it's a normal cumulative. And we get a lower and upper. So the lower is 7.94, the upper is 8.09, and now we know the mean and the standard deviation, so the mean is, the standard deviation even, is 0 0.05, and the mean 8. So we've got an answer, we've got 0 0.849. The cost of producing a single metal rod is 20p. And so when L is less than 7.94, do we know how many are? I don't think we do. So let's go back, back into this. So let's put the lower as 0 and the upper as 7.94. So that's 11.5%, 0 0.115. So the probability that X is less than 7.94 is 11.5%. And therefore, the probability that X is bigger than 8.09 is going to be, well, 1 minus the other two. So 1 minus 0 0.849 and minus 0 0.115. That's 0 0.036.
got our, got our probabilities. What's what's the the cost is twenty p each one each one, where l is less than zero point seven point nine four. That's eleven and a half percent sold for scrap for five p. In between, sold for fifty p. That's our eighty four point nine percent. And when it's bigger, it's shortened for a cost of ten p, and then sold for fifty p. That's the three point six percent. So calculate the expected profit per five hundred rods. So the cost. Producing 500, it's going to be 500 mm in 20p. So 500 times 20p, that's going to be 100 pounds. Then when L is less than 7.94, so how many are 500 times 0.115? So 500 times 0 0.115, that will tell us how many rods are less than 7.94, and they're sold for 5p each. So 5p for each of those. So 500 times 0 0.115 times 5p, that's £2.875, it says. So I'll just use that whole number. And now, when it's between 7.94 and 8.09, when it's between them, so how many? 500 times 0 0.849, and they sold 50p each. So 500 times... 0 0.849 times 50p, 212 pounds 25. And finally, bigger than, bigger than is bigger than 8.09. So again, we've got 500 times the percentage so 3.6 percent of 500 they're shortened for 10p then sold for 50p so that is 40p for each one of those and that is seven pounds 20. So the total, I just write it here. So the total profit is going to be £212.25, £7.20, and £2.88. Take away the £100 cost. So that is £122.33. So we've got a part D. So part D. The same manufacturer makes metal hinges in large batches. The hinges each have a probability of 0.015 of having a fault. A random sample of 200 hinges is taken from each batch, and the batch is accepted if fewer than six are 40. The manufacturer's aim is for 95% of batches to be accepted. Explain whether the manufacturer is likely to achieve its aim. So we want to work out if 95% were 
will be accepted. So let's work out, let's do a binomial, binomial distribution. N is 200. And chance of a fault each time, 0 0.015. So we'll use our, we want fewer than 640. So the probability fewer than six, so x is less than or equal to five. So the probability x is less than or equal to five. So five is our x. Let's just use our calculator again. So menu, it's a binomial cumulative distribution. A binomial cumulative distribution variable. So x is 5, n is 200, and the probability 0 0.015. We've got 91.8%, 0 0.918. So there's a 91.8% chance that batch will be accepted. 91.8% chance of the batch being accepted. So they want 95% to be accepted. So 91.8% is this less than 95, therefore it's unlikely that 95% will be. It is unlikely. The manufacturer will achieve its aim.